Google has unveiled Project Astra, their latest virtual assistant powered by the multimodal foundation model Gemini, and it's actually a very interesting groundbreaking project that will bring some astonishing innovation. In today's video, we will discuss all the details about Project Astra and how it's set to revolutionize our smart device experience. Apple's Siri, Amazon's Alexa, Microsoft's Cortana, most of us have used one of these assistants at some point, and unfortunately, we've seen them fail many times. While many think a great virtual assistant is still a distant dream, Google disagrees. They're convinced the next generation of bots will be revolutionary. At Google I.O., the company's annual developer conference, Demis Asabas, the head of Google DeepMind and the leader of Google's AI efforts, unveiled an early version of what he aims to make the ultimate universal assistant. Named Project Astra, this real-time, multimodal AI assistant can see the world, recognize objects, and remember where the user left things. It can answer questions and help with almost anything. In a striking demo video, which Hasabas insists is recorded in a single take and in real time, an Astra user at Google's London office asked Project Astra to identify different objects, locate missing items, review code, and more. It all happens almost instantly and conversationally. Astra was just one of many Gemini announcements at this year's I.O. There's a new model called Gemini 1.5 Flash designed for faster summarization and captioning. Another model, VO, can generate video from a text prompt. Gemini Nano, intended for use on devices like phones, is reportedly faster than ever. The context window for Gemini Pro, which determines how much information the model can handle in a query, is doubling to 2 million tokens, and Google claims it follows instructions better than ever. Google is rapidly advancing both the models and their accessibility to users. To be frank, there was quite a lot of stuff, but we will only discuss Project Astra in today's video. So, at its core, Project Astra is a multimodal AI project from Google, combining various input types to form contextual responses. It uses a camera for vision and listens to the user's voice. Users can draw a picture and it will interpret it. In return, it responds with speech. Astra aces at engaging in conversational exchanges, responding to questions and commands as if interacting with another person in the room, showcasing speech, vision, text, and memory capabilities. It processes visual information immediately, creating a timeline of the world around the user and offers real-time responses based on the camera input, enabling users to interact with it naturally. The demo video by Google shows an employee using Astra on their smartphone to identify a part of a speaker and explain its function. Astra did this in seconds, speaking in a natural voice with a very human-like tone. It even identified the employee's location in London from a quick glimpse out the window. Astra has many more fascinating uses. For example, if a user has parked his or her car in a large lot, they just need to tell Astra where it is parked and it can guide them back to the spot. It can also analyze snippets of code and identify their purpose. Not only that, if a user comes across a beautiful sunset and feels inspired, Project Astra can help him or her write a poem about it. For those thinking about the hassle of carrying their phone with its camera on all the time to teach Astra, it isn't just limited to smartphones. Google also demonstrated it being used with a pair of smart glasses in a demo video, enhancing its convenience and utility. Up till now, virtual assistants relied on information they extracted from the web and what users provided them to help with tasks. Project Astra, however, can learn about the world around the user, making it the closest AI curated experience to having a human assistant. If we try to evaluate how Project Astra responded to the user's queries, there are three major highlights. Number one, there was almost no delay, which hints that maybe all the processing was being carried on the device instead of on cloud. Number two, Astra can not only identify objects, but can also give details about their purpose and internal working, which highlights that the model was trained on a vast data set. Lastly, in Google's demonstration, we could not see the battery icon on the smartphone, so we don't know how much power it consumes. Is it battery efficient or is it a power disaster, as it seems like? We still don't have any technical details from Google to answer these questions because for now, Project Astra is in its early stages of testing and there are no specific launch dates. But Google did say that their users will be able to experience some of its capabilities as they get integrated into other projects, such as the Gemini app later this year. Normally, for products which are still in development, we don't get to hear the first impression stories. But luckily for this one, Google did allow people to spend time with it at their 2024 I.O. event. 
One of the Tech Radar reporters wrote down their experience with the Project Astra at the I.O. event, claiming that Project Astra featured a large camera pointed at a desk. Project Astra played Pictionary. They claimed and they added that as they drew, it guessed what they were drawing and explained it with logical reasons according to hints provided. It initially guessed a sun, but when the person mentioned the center should be black, it correctly identified a solar eclipse. Astra also told the same person a story. The person writes that they showed it a crab and asked for a story in the style of Hemingway, then a kaiju lizard as the villain. Project Astra adapted seamlessly to each new twist and kept coming up with new iterations. Next, Project Astra created alliterative sentences based on the items that the person presented. For example, it came up with a beautifully baked and browned baguette. The reporter said that although it didn't always start with the same letter as the object, its alliteration was impressive. The operator then showed Project Astra a donut and asked for the alliterative sentence. Then they requested sci-fi themed alliteration and it was all delivered. The reporter also asked for silly words and it was understood perfectly. Even its follow-up responses maintained the alliterative theme, showcasing its cleverness and adaptability. Now, the same person also highlighted a very important concern. During the Google I.O. keynote, a Googler asked Astra where he left his glasses. Astra replied that it saw the glasses next to a red apple, showing it had memory. This immediately raised privacy concerns. What happens if law enforcement comes knocking? They could demand to see everything someone touched or moved in your house. Project Astra could potentially provide that information. However, that's not exactly how Project Astra works. It remembers only what it sees during a single session. The reporter also highlighted that Google reps were vague about the duration of a session, but it seems to be between one and four minutes. After that, Project Astra forgets everything and moves on to the next task. The issue lies in what happens during those minutes. Project Astra could process its information locally. Its memory is uploaded to Google. In the prototype stage, this might not mean much, but if it becomes a commercial product, we'll need to know where our data is going and who has access to it. Many attendees of the I.O. event highlighted that Google's employees in some way knew that the tech they were showcasing still requires a lot of work. To give a sense of where the technology is today, Google staff didn't allow recording or photographs in the Astra demo room. Astra was running on an Android smartphone, but observers couldn't see the app or hold the phone. The demos were fun, and certainly the tech that made them possible is worth exploring, but Google missed an opportunity to showcase how its AI technology will impact everyday life. But still, if we consider what is happening in the competitive landscape of Google, Project Astra is a great addition to Google's list of offerings. Since the past couple of moments, we've seen an increasing trend of companies rolling out smarter language models that can carry out processing using the smartphone's proprietary hardware resources. Project Astra can be deemed of as a way to compete with what Apple and Microsoft might come up with using their Open ELM and Phi 3 models respectively. Even if it doesn't compete with Apple's Open ELM and Microsoft's Phi 3, it could be an answer to OpenAI's new GPT-4.0 model, which has been making waves on the internet due to its vision capabilities. OpenAI's ChatGPT-4.0 has been rolled out to the public and it allows users to interact through text, audio, and video in real time, providing GPT-4 level intelligence and supporting more than 50 languages. A handful of users on social media do perceive ChatGPT-4.0 as an advanced AI search engine and superior to Google Search, but it's not confirmed if Project Astra will be integrated into Google Search. Still, if we look into the application spectrum of Project Astra, it is quite diverse since it is not just some run-of-the-mill tech. Need a hand in the kitchen? It'll whip up recipe suggestions. Hate chores? Let it handle all the smart home gadgets. At work, it can serve as a personal assistant, which can give users a quick rundown of the day's schedule and work notes. Not only that, in healthcare, it can help in sorting patient records, analyzing data, and even helping with medical images. In education, it can help students learn about new things as they point their camera on those things. But will it be able to prove its mettle against the giants like OpenAI's ChatGPT? We need to wait and see. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. Did you know that Google's DeepMind has made an exciting breakthrough with the third iteration of AlphaFold? What is this model about, and how is it set to profoundly impact our understanding of life particles? To jump into the details, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!